Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm doing a hair care video for you guys and it's like not requested but I just thought because I did a skincare video back in December that I might as well do a hair care video as well. But before we get into the video, I'm just going to put it out there quick. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button below. And if you want to be notified when I next upload, hit that bell and you'll be notified when I next upload. And also, if you want to see a bit of a sneak peek of what my life is like away from YouTube, check me out on my social media. We have my Twitter and my Instagram on the screen now. And they're also linked in the description below. So if you want to see a bit of behind the life of YouTube, instead of watching like constant videos like this, then also you can easily just click the links and follow my social media. Okay, so the first product I'm going to be talking about, it's not sponsored, it's just my favourite shampoo and conditioner, is the Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner. Now, if you don't know what it is, it's a customisable shampoo and conditioner. I've said that three times now. Um, and it literally works for your needs only. So there's an online website for it where you where you can order and there's a quiz. You can put your hair type, um, if it's dry or if it's wavy or anything like that. And then you go on to like your quiz, which is your goals. So what is your hair goals? For me, um, the majority of my goals are to lengthen, nourish roots and control all, all the oily parts because I have an oily scalp, which causes me to get greasy hair really fast. So they're like some of my main goals. But there's all sorts on there. There's like anti frizz reduced brassiness and all of that. And if you do choose reduced brassiness, if you are blonde like me, then you will not get the option to choose your colours. It will literally come as a purple shampoo and conditioner. But if you don't and you choose other things, you can choose any colour you like for each one of these. And you can also choose a scent. Now, currently my scent is Isn't She Bubbly, which smells like um, champagne in a soapy kind of way, which is really nice. But um, my next batch is get, has the scent, um, it's a, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like to do with cherries. So I'm really, really excited. And I've also got different colors coming next. They're like a new color and they, they give me spring vibes. So I just thought I'm gonna get them. But yeah, um, if you haven't already, check out the website. And if you wanna like, if you're struggling with like shampoo and conditioner to suit your hair, in general, then I'd highly recommend these. I wouldn't recommend these enough. And plus, I wouldn't boast about something if it didn't work. So, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to go in order of products I use. But the first two things I'm gonna show first are things I don't use all the time. So, the first one is Pantene Smooth and Sleek um, Dry Oil for frizzy and dull hair, and you leave it in, and it works wonders. So if you want your hair to look silky smooth and the frizz just goes away this is something you can definitely use i mean i have anti-frizz in my shampoo and conditioner so i don't use this as an all the time thing only when i feel like it's necessary but the other thing i don't always use is the um tresemme pro collection uh, biotin repair with heat protection in it now this i use like every now and again purely because of the products i use anyway but when i feel like my ends and maybe this bit needs it, I would definitely use this. So they're them two. But here are the four main things I use in my hair. Okay, so once I've like had a shower and washed my hair with my shampoo and conditioner, I will then go in in my room and I'll go through and I'll start using my products. So the first one I use is the Roots by Superdrug. It is vegan friendly, cruelty free, uh, paraben for that white free, sulfate free and silicone free and I literally just spray this on these areas of my hair of my hairline. I mean it is my natural hairline so I can't really get rid of it but it makes it look fuller in that area because I've got such light hair. Um, I put it on the areas mainly and I also just put it through the other parts of my hair anyway. And then I will then go in with the leave-in a Palmer's coconut oil formula um, leave-in conditioner and I mainly put this because it's doing it now um, the back area of my hair is it just gets on my nerves like I'll bring my fingers through and I'll get stuck like now uh, they, the, but the nape area of my hair just gets so knotty I don't like it so I put this through my hair and it works wonders. I mean, the reason like my hair's doing it now is because like I literally got my hair done yesterday and you can totally tell when you don't use this. So I can tell today. Anyway, and then I go in with the BO5 heat protect spray and it goes up to uh, 230 degrees of heat 
and it literally smells beautiful. I used to have the Tony and Guy heat, heat defense, but now I thought I'd try something different, a different product, and this smells amazing, and it is amazing anyway, because with like having bleached hair, it's better to use heat protection for your hair, and just in general, no matter what like hair color or hair type you have, heat protection is like, I don't know, your best friend. So, yeah. And then the last product I will use in my hair is the L'Oreal um, Dream Length No Haircut Cream and it helps sp seal, split ends and reduce breakage and it's a leave-in for long damaged hair and I purely just use this because I have had my hair lightened, pardon me, my hair naturally isn't this colour, I mean you can't really tell now because I've had more roots done yesterday but I'm more of like a mousy brown colour so going from like a mousy brown, even though I was like ombre before going um, like balayage, before um, going for hair blonde, I'd already had the bleach there. So that's why I purely got this as well, because even though it went through the natural cortex of my hair, it's just the ends of my hair, like the colour had already been stripped and it's going to be stripped even more, it's even more damaged and it's made a reason why I use this. So. Yeah, I think that's like all my products. But yeah, that's the products I use in my hair and that is my hair care routine. Um, I usually like, don't I don't always dry, um, dry my hair for hair dry just purely because like I like my natural hair and when it's dried, it will literally look like this. I mean, I don't mind it, but like sometimes I just feel, mm. and plus not drying your hair for hair dry is actually more healthier than your Hair, healthier for your hair rather than using the hair dryer because even though you have got your heat defense and you're putting it in you should be drying your hair with a hair dryer every single day and um, you should at least let your hair like air dry a majority of the week anyway so yeah it, gives, it just gives you more like healthy hair and it helps promote um, hair growth as well but that's it for my video. Um, as I said at the start of the video, um, if you're not subscribed to my channel and now you're at the end of my video, hit that subscribe button below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.